for the game. It's a red stick. Mythic here with another video where we bagging another yeah oh, yep you heard that right this one's gonna be a six speed uh he left he dropped it off last night so it was eight o'clock in the morning but it just started right now let me grab the keys here it is and this is the bags The U set, it's true hearts double bellows with the airlift V2. V2, first time doing this system. We'll see how this goes. Should it be too much difficult? And then uh we'll see what else. And it is an actual bag right here. Yep, double bellows, two hearts. Yep, we'll probably leave that that setting if they're all matching, and then we'll go ahead and start get everything up. All right, so you guys are doing a setup. It looks very simple. We got um, this is for the compressor, compressor uh, power, compressor ground. Easy. You should be able to connect straight to the compressor. Let's see the connection for it. Yep, just like that. Easy. They already wired it up. We got so this is out of the way. Relay. You just mount that somewhere or self tap it somewhere. This is the actual um, harness we plug into the V2 management, which is this one right here. He, uh, the customer requested to hide it, so we'll try to hide this somewhere, like under it. And then you got your, your lines. One of them, the skinny one, is your remote. Not connected, but you can see over here, it just connects right there to the remote. So put this away for now. And then all you got is your um, power. Let me ground my bad ground. And power right here where we connect it. Let's see if the fuse is still good. Fuse is good on here. So yeah, we should be fine and dandy to just get this done. Install the coilovers. And all we gotta do is we'll overrun the lines and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the trunk setup. We're gonna do a basic trunk setup. We'll just mount on like a thin piece of piece of wood nothing fancy he could always come back if you want to do any more custom work but right now we're just going to try to get it done in one day simple as possible no issues but yeah let's go ahead and uh, continue this all right guys so since it's a six speed um there's no way to use the rubber grommet because the clutch master uh or the uh, the use the clutch pedal it actually takes off that um, rubber grommet we normally use. I saw in the video right now that we can actually just make a hole right under this bolt. And that's what I did. Made one little hole right there. And that's where we're we'll running everything through. Yep. Alright guys, I haven't fixed the camera for a little bit. Kind of how I have the trunk is going to be right here. This is self tap down to the bottom so this ain't going to move the airlift so that way when it goes over you can't see it. Um, use those uh, connections that you see in all my other videos right here. This one don't have a spare tire so I just actually just put the exhaust short wire right here. You don't really even need to, even need to do anything but I just ran it to that little hole. But um, yeah, so that's the exhaust. This extra one is the tank right here. So once we finalize the tank setup, we'll be able to see um, exactly how we're gonna want to put everything. That's for the only other thing I gotta go to the store for is some hardware in order to get this stuff um, on. But yep, not sure if I wanna put a little piece of wood or if you just bolt it straight down to the carpet. I'm not too sure yet, we'll see. Alright, just a little update. I'm not sure in the whole process, but everything we tested it, everything turns on. Um, here's the the simple trunk setup we're doing. It's plain and simple. 
So he's getting. And we just did the back. We still gotta do the front. He's on functioning forms. This is the back with the air strut so far, aired out. Now we're just gonna knock out the front and uh, we'll be able to start messing with it. Yep, his Instagram is right here if I haven't already put it in. All right, finished bagging the boys' car. I'll show you guys uh, some of them, a little bit about the controller. This is up uh, all the way. Two harsh double bellows. The only thing different really between the 3P video I made and the V2, which is the V2, uh, it's a controller. It's pretty cool. Um, so what you do is you turn the car on and the only thing you really gotta do is calibrate it and then know how to do your presets. So to calibrate it, you'll hold down this top one. These are number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how you number them. And then you hold this and this for five seconds and then calibrate it. And then you do one, two, three. I think two is calibrate, you hit two. And then it will start recalibrating, just like three, uh, three P. So then I'm gonna go too far in depth and preset. All you do is just hold down whatever one you want you hold down the preset and then you'll be able to um, adjust it and then hold it back down. And just like a, like a 3P. I'm gonna see if I have something sticky. I could probably just mount this right here for him. But yeah, he's coming right now to pick up the car. It took about five hours and we're done. Give him a Mythic custom decal as well. This is old uh, Funkston form coilovers, but what I really want to show you is the fittings. Always use a DOT approved fittings. Um, I don't have one near me right now, but uh, these are the ones he provided. Unfortunately, uh, they're not dot approved. You can already see it blew out um, about with the first couple air down and ups. Uh, yeah, so we put some dot approved ones on. So these ones from Amazon, don't buy these for air suspension. All right, guys. So, a few little things picked up. Shout out to Oreo. I'll put his Instagram right here. Hello, cool. Um, you might have got some like, new exhaust tips for the TL for my bagged one. It looks so clean. It's a Borla S type exhaust muffler, or just not exhaust, but muffler and tips. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna be putting this on. Not sure, sure when this video is gonna be out, but you'll see it. And we also got a J pipe right here, pretty clean. Back here, a little rub right here. This one's a little bit more, but no holes I was told, and it looks pretty good. We go just wrap it up, but yeah, there ain't no major holes, so. Probably for my six speed, if anything. But yeah, he's so kind, he actually um, taped up the tips. So we're gonna go ahead and take out the tape. We'll polish it up, just see if we can polish it up a little bit more. But I really like the kind of staggered look and how the inside uh, tips are looking, it's pretty nice. And hopefully it'll give us a nice little bit more uh, tone because my exhaust is pretty quiet. But yeah, it's pretty nice, big old Borla. All right, this J-Pipe is a RV6 uh, long tube J-Pipe. That's how very long it is. Now you can already tell the short ones are like this short because they'll keep the cat. This one actually deletes the cat. A little bit more performance out of it. A little bit more illegal out of it. But anyways, yeah. So we're probably going to order some new gaskets. These one won't be on, unfortunately, until I get this motor in. Because uh, this is going for my six-speed. These ones actually will be, um, uh, be putting on in this video. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and polish the tips like I said. And yeah, here's a little before shot of it. We'll do that after right now guess before we do the exhaust um i'll show you guys uh the car like little trim thingy i'm gonna do you can see on this side because you know my car is mostly like chrome clear and then whatever my color is my wheels are going to be polished and 
uh, aluminum, whatever. But um, yeah. So hey, we got this black trim so faded, and then over here I kind of started. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kind of just del delete it and bring it to the chrome. And all it is is just under here is chrome, and all we do is just um, peel back the black. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I kind of like how this chrome looks, and I'll be right back. All right, so he's a little bit after and here's before you can see the at least residue all i did was get a goo gone spray it on this rag and wiped it can you really tell the difference look how shiny that is and this will be here residue shiny and i'm doing it in the heat so it's pretty hot this part so it makes the the black come out pretty good this is still a little hard to get all the little pieces but we're gonna try all right guys it's sunday I'm gonna go try to find some muffler shops. I doubt it because it is a Sunday. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see if we try to put those Borla exhaust end tips on my car. So yeah, here it is. We'll grab them, load them up, and see you guys if we can find it a shop. All right, guys, I found a shop. Luckily, I was about to call this video quits, but um, here in town, we got a local uh, fender roller guy. He just opened up his new shop and he did a lot of like little other um, side jobs so he is able to roll out my muffler. Trust him, he did quality work. He uh, rolled four gens uh, fenders. So we're gonna go over there and get it put on. He's only gonna charge me a hundred bucks for the boat and be dope. So anyways, um, I do a before and after with the exhaust, see which one I like better. Um, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a difference. It's just the mufflers and tips. But yeah, we're going. We're replacing the old Comtex sport um, muffler with the single uh, huge tip for for the dual Borla S type exhaust. But yeah, uh, but everything else is still the Comtex uh, full cat back right now. But yep, see you guys. Uh, Comtex will be up for sale. I'm pretty sure by the time this video, it might get sold just today, right after once I post it up. If not, then you'll see a number sign right here. Cha Ching. But all right, see you guys in a little bit. We got Tim over here. He just came to hang out. I'll show you some of the dope cars here. This is Henson's. The exhaust welded on. Let me show you guys. Here's my car aired up before I park it for this week. 